Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see how to print the today's date and time, tomorrow's date and time and yesterday's date and time. So in order to print this date and time, we need to work with a module name called date time module. Date time module. So inside this date time module, we are having the date time class <coughs> as well as time delta class, time delta. So this date time class is having a method called today, which will give the date and time of today, right? Date and time, all the date and time. And coming to the time delta, this is used to work on with the dates. That means uh, adding or uh, subtracting dates. So working on dates will be done with the help of this class name so these are called a classes all these are the classes and this is a module module so if you want to access this one what we have to do we need to write a module name dot class name dot method so in order to access any method we need to follow the same thing so if the method is available inside the class we need to call the method with the help of a class and here the class is available in the module so we need to call a module name dot a class name dot a method right and here we are having a constructor called a time delta where we can pass the parameter like uh, in terms of days or weeks or years like this right so that we can add or subtract a multiple uh, dates right so first we need to print the current today's date and time so the today's date and time will be getting with uh, module name so module name is date time module dot class name is date time again the date time class what's the method today so simply use a today method so that everything will be available in today the next one is uh, tomorrow so in order to get the tomorrow we need to add one day for today so so the today's date is in today so today plus what we have to do is we have to use this time delta to add or subtract the dates so time delta is available in the module name called date time so date time dot time delta time delta and this is a constructor and here you can pass the arguments the keyword arguments so that is a days so days is equal to one so automatically for today's day one day will be added so today's date is some 23rd 3 2022 and this will be automatically 24 3rd 2022 and if it is yesterday what we have to do so if you want to get the yesterday we need to subtract one day from the today so today minus the module name date time dot time delta class time delta of days is equal to one so one day will be subtracted from today so obviously we'll get the date as 22 03 2022 so if you want to add a five days so simply give days as five and if you want to subtract five days give days as five and uh, subtract the days from today so this is how we can work on the dates in python so the module name is a date time module inside the date time module we are having the date time class and time delta class and inside the date time class we are having the time i mean date uh, date and time from today function right so by calling this method we'll get the today's date and time from there by using the time delta class we can add or subtract the dates from the current date right so this is uh, an overview of uh, the date time module and uh, two more classes are available that is a uh, a date class is there similarly time class is there so this will give only date only date it will represent only date and time it will represent only time only time right so in this time we are having a function called now method now it will give only the time current time only it will give the current time right so if you use a date time we will get both the date and time so if you use only time, we will be having the only 
only time right so this is the overview of date time class so hope you understood this one so let's uh, implement the same thing on the interpreter so let's move on to the interpreter hello friends so just now we have seen uh, the concept of uh, how to display the today's date the tomorrow and uh, yesterday's date so for that uh, as we have discussed just now we have to import the module called a date time module and inside the date time module we are having a class called date time class where we are having a method called today which will give the current date so first we will display the today's date today is equal to date time module date time class dot today function so you can simply print the today's date so today comma today right so if you execute so you'll get the today's complete date and time the current time okay and if you want to get then yesterday's date so we need to minus one day from today so in order to uh, manipulate the dates we have to use the class called time delta class so yesterday is equal to today minus time delta class time delta class so time delta class is in date time class date time module module name dot class name of use the uh, parameter days is equal to one so one day will be minus with today's date so just to print here so in order to print the yesterday yesterday right so just print the yesterday so that we'll get the yesterday's date so you, you can see here 2203.23 is today and 2203.22 Two is yesterday right <clears throat> and if you use the tomorrow's date we need to add today with one date right so tomorrow is equal to today plus again go with the date time module module name dot class name time delta is a class to modify the days so day is equal to one so you can simply print tomorrow tomorrow so you can get here so this is a today's date 23rd march 22nd march is it yesterday 24th march is tomorrow so if you want to get a five days after today's date simply use the uh, thing uh, some d is equal to so today plus date time module name dot class name time delta class of days is equal to five so it will add five days for today's time so that you will get the after five days from today so what is here d you can see after five days so today is at 23rd after five days it will be 28 right so this is how we can display the date and time of today yesterday and tomorrow and whatever the date we require right so hope you understood this one so the date time class uh, date time class will be having the today's method in order to get the current date and time and if you want to work on dates we need to use the time delta class right so hope you understood this one if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you are really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much